What's up y'all, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today we're gonna talk about stock footage. Now this is a question I get a lot about do I use stock footage, what platforms I recommend for stock footage and there are so many different options out there with so many different price points, uh, types of footage. So I kinda wanted to make a video breaking down the different stock footage platforms, how they compare to each other, their price difference and which ones I would recommend to you guys. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm just gonna dive right into it and go through all the different stock footage platforms. That is Film Supply, Nimia, Shutterstock, Pond5, Dissolve, Artlist, Aerial Stock, and Tropic Color. So first, we're just gonna jump right into it with Film Supply. Now I'll say Film Supply is probably the best curated website, uh, the most stylistic, high quality footage that you can possibly get. Uh, they have some really, really good stuff from some really, really good filmmakers, but they are definitely on the higher end. They really cater to those, you know, uh, networks, TV shows, films, companies, production companies that have budgets to spend because the average price per 4K clip is anywhere from like three to four hundred dollars. Three hundred being the absolute cheapest clip that you can find 4K resolution to use and buy. Um, everything else is definitely on the pricier end. Depending on your usage of the clips, it could go up to like five, six hundred dollars. So it's definitely the I would say the highly most curated and uh, you know the best footage you can find, but definitely uh, some of the most expensive for sure. After that, you know we're gonna jump into Nimia. I actually happen to sell footage through Nimia. Um, I have an account with them and, and have some clips that I've uploaded to their site and I'm a seller on the platform just through a mutual friend that I have there. But again, they are, I would say on the, the higher end of the, um, you know, the price spectrum per 4k clip, the average is going to come around to again, $300. And again, this is all based on 4k clips. You know, you can buy, uh, you know, 1080, 720 clips and they are going to be cheaper on all these websites, but I'm basing this off of a average price per 4k clip. So with Nimia, again, around for that high res, sometimes even the 1080 files um, are $300, the high resolution. You can get lower res files for like 200, um, but typically anywhere, you know, around the $300 range if you're looking for, you know, some 4K high quality clips through Nimia. Next, Pond5, this is gonna be uh, a slightly more universal film, you know, stock company stock footage company you're gonna find a little more affordable prices it, the footage is definitely not going to be as stylistic but you can find clips from 20 to 60 to 100 to 50 whatever uh on the cheaper price end um you know clip wise but again you're gonna go for a 4k clip typically pond 5 you're gonna you know somewhere around the 100 to 150 to 180 range but i would say on average for a 4k clip you're probably looking at 140 150 dollars uh, for a 4k clip on pine 5 but again definitely more affordable probably half the price of some of those other websites and if you get less than a 4k clip you're, you're talking like you know probably 70 dollars 75 dollars per clip so definitely a lot more of an affordable option if you're looking for stock footage um, that you can purchase but i would say not as stylistic as those other sites after that we come to shutterstock which is a lot like pond 5 it's kind of that same universal like a lot less curated uh more oversaturated um and the price wise it's going to come you know around the same price but i would say pff, shutterstock you're, you're coming in more around the 180 dollar range uh, for an average 4k clip i was scanning their website and pretty much any 4k clip that you wanted to you know if you were to buy or download it's going to be 179 180 bucks they do have a good selection but again not as stylistic or curated as like a film supply or a dissolve or a nimia those websites you're really getting the best of the best but that's not to say you can't find any good things on you know shutterstock because there are some good footage on shutterstock as well after that, um, I think we'll move into ArtGrid, which is an uh, artless platform, but they are now launching ArtGrid, which will be their stock footage platform. And I, I will be an exclusive uh, filmmaker on their site, providing a lot of footage on there. And they're going to do the same type of platform as their, you know, their, their music selection for music YouTubers. 
uh, where it's like royalty license free music, but it'll be royalty license free footage, stock footage at like an annual membership fee. So they do that with their, you know, the, the music platform. It's like an annual fee. So rather than paying per clip or per song or whatever, they'll be doing it on an annual fee as well. So super excited for that to launch. Hasn't launched yet. It's coming sometime spring 2019. But looking forward to that as I think they'll be a, an interesting player in the stock footage platform. And I have my stuff on there. So that's pretty cool and exciting. Um, and looking forward to that launching. Next is Tropicolor, which is a, a, a company of <clears throat> of mine that I actually launched uh, in order to cater to uh, filmmakers of all budgets. You know, the people that can't afford that high-end price markups that a lot of these companies are charging and under uh, Tropicolor we have a stock selection uh, stock section where we have five different bundles of unique stock packs and you know there's basically tropical desert LA aerial footage of LA and uh, Pacific Northwest all of which these stock packs are like 15 plus minutes some of them are even 30 plus minutes of 8 millimeter 16 millimeter film and VHS footage. Everything is scanned in at 4K, so you're getting a ProRes 444 scan of all of the footage, all those reels of footage, uh, log, you know, in log format and graded. You get the camera sound effects with it, some edge mats, and everything. The, each pack is only $50. So if you're comparing that to these other stock footage websites, it's literally not even comparable. It's just, it's it's honestly dumb that we're offering this much footage and this much film stock footage not even digital like it's shot on actual film at such an affordable price point again fifty dollars a bundle so really honestly you can't beat that if you're looking for a specific style such as you know tropical la aerial footage of la and some things like that we plan on doing more in the future but that's honestly you you can't beat tropic color with that then we have uh, what is Dissolve. Dissolve is another platform that's a lot like Nimia and Film Supply. It's a little more high end. Uh, you have some of the workings of kind of like that cheesy corporate stuff that Pond5 or Shutterstock has. Um, but you are going to have, again, that same kind of price point at the original, maybe a little less than Film Supply and Nimia. But again, for a 4K clip, you're looking at around $300. Uh, for the the royalty license free to be able to use however you want so again another stock footage platform but again it comes in at like the same price as all these others around three hundred dollars per clip which is you know unfortunate but dissolve is another option so you know you can go ahead and check that out as well and then lastly i want to talk about aerial stock which is a new company i'm launching this year to basically compete with all these people overcharging for these clips and again not not necessarily overcharging because i don't want to take away from the filmmaker but a platform that allows filmmakers to the the potential to sell their footage but also aerial filmmakers that just have hordes of drone and aerial footage sitting on a desktop a hard drive somewhere not doing anything they're not selling any of this footage on the stock footage platforms because one they are so expensive and two they're just so oversaturated so we are launching aerial stock which is a aerial drone footage platform strictly aerial footage every single clip no matter what the resolution you know 4 1080 4k 6k whatever it is $50 a clip no more no less $50 a clip so you'll be able to buy four aerial clips for the price of one clip on one of these other stock footage platforms so we're trying to bring stock footage to the masses so that you know high school kids college kids youtubers uh, production companies can afford good good amount of aerial stock footage but also curate it so it's just not oversaturated, uh, but also pay out the filmmakers so they earn a higher percentage on their, you know, um, shots when they, when they do sell. Because I do have my footage on some stock footage platforms and when they sell, I barely see any money from it. So this is just kind of something that we're starting to, again, cater to the filmmaking community and, and kind of help everyone out. So that is my rundown of all these stock footage platforms Hopefully this helped you guys in some way get a little insight onto what platforms I think are the best and why and what have kind of the best footage, but also give you a price comparison between them all in an instance so you don't have to go searching and digging yourself. This is pretty much the best of the best and what I feel are your best options out there. 
So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this video helped in some way again. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds, and I'm out.